Hi, I'm Ben from The Engine Co, and this is a quick video demonstrating how to get started with Loom. We'll start by going to the engine.co website and downloading the Loom SDK installer for our platform. Uh, the Loom SDK installer installs the Loom command to your command line, and that's what lets you do um, a lot of the great command line workflow stuff that makes Loom so easy to use. So we'll run the installer, install the command, and uh, let it go. It just takes a second, and once it's installed, then we'll go ahead and start a new project, which you do by going to a directory of your choice, the desktop in our case, and typing Loom New My Game. And you can go in there and it spits out a template application for you that has everything you need to get started. So we'll pull it up and you can see there's a bunch of useful stuff. The main folders are the source folder, which is where script lives, and the assets folder, which is where your textures and sounds and other stuff lives. Cool, so we'll go in. Uh, one useful thing to know is you can control the scale mode by um, setting scale mode on the layer so you can control how the app resizes but let's uh, run it real quick and make sure it works great and then we'll go ahead and get it running on device um, if you're running loom for the very first time it'll download and install the Android SDK the first time you try to run on Android so we've already done that so we'll skip that but you can see it's packaging the APK and uh, deploying it to our device and it will uh, boot up in a second here and it tried to go to iOS, but we didn't have a mobile provision. So we'll go ahead and pull that in. It's the same provision file you get off the iOS dev site. Um, you just do Loam iOS provision and then give it the path. It'll copy it in. And uh, once we've done that, we'll package and run again. And uh, Android will go through. And once Android is done, then we will see iOS build and deploy. Great. So now we're running on all three platforms. And uh, by default, live reload is turned on. So the next thing we'll do is pull up our source code editor and make some changes. So let's change the label to be a little more exciting. Have some woo woo happening. And uh, we'll go ahead and also play with some of the other parameters for the sprite and change its scale. Get a little bigger to show the level of excitement that we have for Loom. Cool. Well, that's small. Let's make it big. Great. So there we go. Everything transferred. And uh, that's all you need to do to get started developing with Loom.